Hello everyone, this is Lola again. Thank you all for joining me today. I welcome you all to my house. Yes, today we are not cooking. I'm going to be answering a whole lot of questions. A lot of you have asked me several questions over the years um, since I started the YouTube channel. And I've not really had the opportunity to sit down with you like this to tell you a little bit about myself. I posted on my community page, I asked you guys to ask me anything you want to know about me and a lot of you brought out questions for me some of you brought out encouraging words and things like that so i have compiled all these questions and i'll be answering them right now so let's get started now before we get started actually my full name is Ulua Fumilola Oshinkolu yes um but i just take i took that part lola because since i was a kid everyone calls me lola 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 so Lola is my name basically. A lot of people know me to be Lola and not Fumilola, but my full name is Oluwa Fumilola. So the next question is, um, why did you leave your native country and why? Well, I left my native country to come and join my husband in the States. My husband came here first for his um, master's degree and I came to join him after I graduated from school, after my service year. Yes, so. That's what brought me here. And we decided to stay back because after his um, degrees, he got a good job. And yes, that's how I got here. The next question is, what do you do for a living? I love your smile and your beautiful voice, your accent as well. Do you do catering? I love your chicken. <laughs> yes, um, first things first, what I do is cooking. Yes, I cook in. I'm a recipe developer and I teach people how to cook. I also have classes in which I teach people how to cook. So that's what I do. Um, also say, do I do catering? No, I don't do catering. A lot of people have called me to do that, but I don't think I want to do that for now. So thank you for loving my chicken recipes. <laughs> All right. Um, Someone says, okay, here's my question. Can you please put up an African curry goat recipe? I'm Jamaican. I'm interested to see if there's any difference in preparation. Okay, I will be putting up a curry goat recipe very soon. And you yourself, you can judge if there's a difference since you're Jamaican. So when I put it up, you'll be able to see if it's the same or it's different. All right. I'll try and work on that. Hmm. <sighs> All right, I just love you, so only one question will do. Are you ready for this question? <laughs> With all humility and respect, please, are you a believer of our Lord Jesus Christ? Mm. Ima? Yes, I am. <laughs> Thank you for asking. All right, so um, where did you learn how to cook so good? Your recipes are always straight and easy to follow, not forgetting to add that they come out delicious too. Chef Lola Saving Marriages seems. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you very much. I learned how to cook from a very tender age. To be sincere, I really don't know when I started cooking. I met myself in the kitchen. I grew up to meet myself in the kitchen. I remember when I was eight years old, precisely, my little sister was born. And I think, you know, in Africa, well, in Nigeria, when we are doing naming ceremony, it's always a big thing. The food ran out and there was no one my mom could just call to help. So she called me, she told me to go and make a big pot of amala. If you're Nigerian, you know what I mean by amala. And uh, I quickly ran upstairs, I made the amala. Immediately I finished making the amala, my friend's mom came upstairs and was like, oh, who, who helped you with, um, with this amala? I said I made it myself. She was shocked. She had to run back home to train her own um, cousins how to prepare <laughs> how to prepare amala. So that's quite funny. But yeah, I literally met myself in the kitchen, and I cannot exactly say when I started cooking. Tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, any kid, job, and the favorite meal your family enjoys. So, like I said earlier, my name is Oluwa Fumilola Oshinkolu. I'm from Kwara State. 
I grew up in Ilori precisely, though I am not from Ilori, but that is where I grew up. My growing up was quite um, fun, was lovely. Um, I'm the second of four children, and um, my dad um, is a medical practitioner, So, and my mom was what we call a civil servant back at home. She works for the government, basically. My dad runs his own... He has his own clinic. So growing up for me was really fun. It was a, it was a quite um, well-knitted family growing up. And yeah, yeah, basically, that's, that's what I have to say about growing up. <laughs> yeah. We weren't allowed to mix so well with um, other kids. Though, you know, you know, when your father is a doctor, you know what it means. Like, oftentimes we are, we are logged home. Not, that, not literally logged, but we are not allowed to just go out or party or or travel a lot of my cousins they do come to my house to sleep over but for us we weren't allowed to do that we missed those part of our life in fact it came to a time one of my dad's uncle told my dad let these kids just come and visit me my dad was like oh uncle no problem they will come maybe tomorrow <laughs> but i don't know maybe, maybe tomorrow i will still go but yeah, that was basically the way we grew up. We had a lot of people coming over to sleep over, spending weekends, spending holidays. But basically, we, uh, we were never allowed to do that. Yeah, so <laughs> the next question is, tell us um, and the favorite meal your family enjoys. Hmm. My husband is from Ikiti State. And if you know what I mean by Ikiti, they like to eat pounded yam and a goosey soup. So, pounded yam is a favorite in our home. My husband loves pounded yam with a goosey. My kids love pounded yam with a way too. And me too, myself, I like pounded yam with a goosey, yes. My best food changes from time to time. Sometimes it can be beans and plantain. I love beans and plantain. It just depends on my mood. <laughs> but basically, my family likes pounded yam and a goosey. So, what advice um, will you have for someone looking to start a cooking channel on YouTube? Go for it. That's my advice. Go for it. YouTube is a platform in which you can express yourself. I've, I've had this type of question not once, not twice. My advice for you is just to start. When I started my YouTube channel, I knew nothing about YouTubing. The only encouragement I had then was from my husband. He just told me to go for it. I knew absolutely nothing. I don't know how to handle the camera. I don't know how to present, you know, all those things. But, you know, with time, I grew. I grew on it. And I'm still learning, actually. I'm not yet there. I'm still learning. But what I have to say is don't wait for the perfect time to have everything perfect. Don't wait for the time you know how to do your voiceovers. Don't wait for the time you know how to do the presentation. Just start. You will learn as you grow. Just start, go for it. That's my advice. And um, the last question from this lovely girl, she said, Oh, I noticed you recently started showing your beautiful face on YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> he said, Do you notice any difference with your audience or is it the same? Yes, I started showing my face because I've been behind the scene for these years. A lot of you don't know me. So here I am. I want to have that connection with you. Fine, the food is okay. The connection with the food is fine. I feel that it's good to even know the face behind the cooking so we can even connect better. That's just why. Um, yeah, with the audience, I really don't see any significant difference. I just noticed everybody was just happy to know who I really am. And basically, that is it. So... Um, yeah, I have another question from this um, lovely lady. She said, other than African cuisine, which country's cuisine is your favorite? I love Chinese food. Oh, I love Chinese food. Um, we really don't eat out in this, in my family. We, it's not something we, we do often. We really do it. But whenever we do, we love to go to the Chinese restaurant. So... How do you feel about African food? Oh my goodness. I love, love, love African food. African food is my favorite thing. Maybe it's because I was born in Nigeria or my taste bud has now adapted to it. But somehow, 
My love for African food is great. African cooking is still the rock beneath all the food I cook. So I love African food so much. What kind of business do you do and do you cater? I think I answered that already. Mm. Someone says share with us your daily timetable. Hmm. I have a routine, but it's really flexible. You know, it's really flexible. And maybe one of these days I would, I'll try and share with you what I do for a whole day. Yeah. So in which country do you live? How do you get your ingredients? I love your videos. Thank you. I live in the United States of America. I'm in California to be precise. I live in Orange County. I don't want to go beyond that. <laughs> um, I get my ingredients in the African store. Wherever I live in the States, I just try to look for the nearest African store to get my ingredients. Another person asked, when did you become interested in cooking? For real, I can't say, just like I said earlier, I met myself in the kitchen. I, <laughs> I just love cooking. I love everything kitchen. I love cooking. Yes. So I can't really say um, how I got interested. I just know, maybe, maybe as a baby, I don't know, but I literally grew up seeing myself cook. So what do you like to cook best? Hmm. I like to make stew, the Nigerian stew. I do that almost every time because I think it's what we consume most in my house. When we want to eat bread, we use stew. When we want to eat rice, we, we use stew. When I make fried rice, yeah, some people will go for the stew too. When I make jollof rice, some will still like to go for the stew. So I think this stew, the Nigerian stew, is something you can really not find in my house. Even if I run out of it, then there's pepper and tomatoes in my freezer to just make quick quick you know sharp sharp like we say <laughs> yeah so the nigerian stew yes um do you have any funny or interesting stories hmm. funny or interesting you know what let me come back to that question later i i have a lot of funny stories but to place my hand on one right now hmm. i'll come back to it if you could eat dinner with any person in history who would it be hmm like for you, not one. The first person is Michelle Obama. And the second person is Oprah Winfrey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those are the two people. <laughs> All right. Um, how do you make your videos? Hmm. To be sincere, I don't know much about videography. I only know a lot about cooking. My husband does the work. Basically, he does all the camera work. I really don't know much. About, not even even to take a picture for me, it's a big deal. So, I'm I'm trying to learn, but I don't think my interest is so much into it right now. However, all the voiceover, the editing, and every other thing apart from the camera, I'm the one who handles it. The cooking, the editing, till you see the video on YouTube, it's me. All right. So let's move to the next question. Is there a type of food you have never tried but you would like to? Mm, there are lots of food I've never tried that I would really love to try. But to place my hand on one right now is kind of difficult. Yeah. Yeah. I love to explore. Be it Italian food, be it Chinese, be it Indian. Be, I love to explore. So I'm not limited to just, oh, African food or whatnot. I am very flexible. If I don't like it, I stay away from it. And if I like it, I, I stay glued to it. That is just me. But I'm not afraid of tasting any food anyways. So except, oh, sorry, except for maybe frogs and worms and termites, you know, <laughs> those kind of things. <laughs> Apart from that, yeah, I love to explore. So the next question, oh, this is not a question, but um, the final thing um, this beautiful lady said is, she said, I don't have to answer all her questions, but she's going to be happy if I answer one or two. Well, I think I've answered more than one or two. So thank you for asking. Um, the next question is, do you do trainings? So yes, I do trainings. Just write me directly and I'll definitely get back to you. So, um, do you have kid? If so, if you do, how many? Do I have kid? And if I do, how many? Hmm. I have kids. <laughs> I have three kids. I have two boys and a little girl. Yes, I have three kids. 
What is the worst cooking mistake you have ever made? Hmm. My worst cooking mistake. Okay. I think when I was growing up, I still in the process of uh, you know learning how to cook and things like that. Like I said, I love staying in the kitchen. There was a time I was supposed to make amala for my mom. Okay, no, for the family. And um, this amala turned out to be a mess. It wasn't well cooked and it was full of lumps. If you're a Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about. It came out so lumpy, so uncooked and everything. I did not know what to do. <laughs> I had to throw everything away. Though my mom did not know about it. She's late now and <laughs> I didn't tell her about it. Um, that was um, the worst thing I've ever the worst um, cooking mistake I've ever made. I did make another one that same day, which turned out to be really good. And since that day, I think I've never made any Amala mistake again, basically. Yeah. I told her I was going to go back to one funny story, which I think I've said about my Amala mistake. Yes. <laughs> it's a funny thing that my sisters, my brothers, nobody knew anything about it. And yeah, that is it. If my dad is watching this today, I know he's going to be surprised to hear me say it because I never mentioned it to anyone. When I actually trashed it, I doubled the plastic bag over. I used up to like five plastic bags before I dumped it into trash because I wanted nobody to know and nobody knew actually. Kids can be so mischievous. So when you are teaching your kids how to cook, keep an eye on them. Yeah. So basically that is it. I think um, it's really nice getting to share myself with you, a part of me with you. And um, yes, that is it. Thank you all for spending your time with me. And as always, I love you all. Mwah.